You know, we love documentaries here at BFD, but how far have they come over the years and where are they going? Let's find out. <music> documentaries are awesome and they're important because they allow us into other people's lives and allow us to walk a few miles in their shoes, but they're also more important and relevant than ever, or are they? We're about to find out with me as first time film director of Beauty is Embarrassing, Neil Berkeley, thanks for joining us, and two time Oscar winning director and veteran documentary film director, Mark Harris, who's also the head of the documentary program at the USC Film School. Thank you so much for joining us. So, uh, the first question off the, off the top is what I mentioned earlier is documentaries, are they more or less relevant than they were, say, 10, 15, 50 years ago? When I started out, uh, documentaries were on television mainly. Now uh, we have a lot more venues, a lot more cable uh, stations, a lot more theatrical films. People are going to look at the, these films on their, you know, their iPads or on their phones. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it, it opens up a whole new way of getting your films out. They're just so much more available. Um, available to be made, available to be consumed. They're everywhere and everyone you talk to, if you say, I made a documentary, the first thing they say is, oh, I love documentaries. And they really mean it because they watch them on Netflix and iTunes and on TV all the time. The other thing is, I, I think that as feature films have become more and more divorced from reality, uh, more and more comic book films, I think there's a hunger on the part of audiences to see the real thing. They take you to places um, uh, where you, the news networks don't take you anymore. And certainly feature films don't take you. What are some documentaries that, uh, that inspired you, that you guys saw and said, I want to do that? And like I think Gimme Shelter is an amazing movie because it's about these people that had an impact over 60 years, but it's just this one little moment in their lives. And something similar, but it still tells a bigger picture story, I think is very important for documentarians to watch is uh, Crumb. I think Crumb is a really brilliant movie that just the camera just sits back and lets the story be told. I think that the, the films that most influenced me were the films I saw when I first started. And one particular uh, is The River because it was about using narration and sort of the elegance of, of documentary film. There are a lot of great new films. But I think the earlier films that I saw influenced me mostly in terms of my style and approach to documentary. What is it about documentaries that can affect change? Casting is essential in documentary films. You have to cast the film with uh, characters that the camera loves. And often, these are people who've done extraordinary things, you know. Uh. Yeah, I, I think that, that, it's just that it's real. It really happened. I mean, a great example is, is last year, The Invisible War. Um, as soon as the military saw that movie, they caused change. That movie made things happen because it was real. If it was a, uh, a narrative feature, who knows? They may have said, you know, there's a writer, there's someone in a room creating that story, but these women actually went through that event. The films are, uh, a sort of a entry point to involving people in the issues. What will stay the same and what will continue to keep documentaries good or make them work? The goal of documentaries is to introduce one segment of society to another. And I think documentaries take us into worlds that we would not otherwise have access to. And that's the great thing as a filmmaker, that you put a camera on your shoulder and suddenly you have an introduction to a world that you wouldn't otherwise never be able to enter. That's what you guys do. You pick up the cameras and <laughs> capture it. Thanks again, guys. Check the link in the description below to check out our guests' documentaries and go to takepart.com backslash table to check out our latest documentary of Plates at the Table and Take Action Against Hunger. For BFD, I'm David Park. Obviously, we didn't have time to show you all the cool things that Neil Berkeley and Mark Harris had to say, but if you keep it tuned in to Take Part TV, you can check out the full discussion or make it easier on yourself and just click subscribe.